Hi, I'm William Spaniel. Let's learn some game theory. Today I'm going to talk about a couple of interesting things that have happened recently on Breaking Bad. I think the best part about Breaking Bad has been watching Walt's transformation from this law-abiding citizen at the beginning of the first season to becoming this criminal mastermind that he is today. And game theory is particularly useful at analyzing situations where actors are operating outside the law. When they're operating within the confines of the law, their behaviors tend to be strategically less interesting because they always do the nice thing and they always cooperate with one another because if they don't, they'll be sued in a courtroom or they'll be sent to jail or have to deal with the police or something bad like that. But when actors are not concerned about those sorts of things because they can't go to the police and the police aren't playing this game with them, then they're free to do much more strategically intriguing things. And I want to talk about one of those situations that came up two weeks ago. So two weeks ago, Walt complained about the legacy costs of the operation. Essentially, Mike was having to pay a bunch of people from Gus's old operation to keep their mouths shut. Walt, Mike, and Jesse were all worried that if those guys talk, then they'll be able to send Walt, Mike, and Jesse all to jail for a long time. And that's not what they want. But I want to talk about why this works. You can think of this as sort of a bargaining game where Walt is offering a bribe to the goons, and the goons are either accepting that bribe and remaining silent, or rejecting that bribe and becoming a rat. And we tend to think that these sorts of goons in this situation are going to become rats, because the DA can go to these goons and say something to the effect of, well, I know that you're not the most important person in this operation, and I don't really particularly care about you. I'm more interested in getting the people higher up. So if you can feed me a little bit of information that will allow me to arrest those guys who are higher above you, I'd be glad to reduce your jail sentence. And so we'd expect these goons to actually rat out the higher ups as a result of that. And yet in the show, the goons remain silent. The goons actually do accept Walt's bribe. And the reason for that is that in the United States, we're not particularly good at rehabilitating prisoners. Think about this goon. Either he can accept this offer from bribe, for, uh, this bribe from Walt, I should say, and remain silent. And, you know, that might end up accounting to $50,000 a year for the goon to just repeatedly remain silent and keep accepting these streams of bribes from Walt to remain silent. But if the goon rats out Walt, what happens? Well, first of all, he'll stop getting those bribes. He'll start make, stop making $50,000 a year by just purely remaining silent. And he's going to be thrown back out onto the street. Well, what happens when he's thrown back out onto the street? We tend to think that freedom is a good thing, right? Well, for the goon, it's not so great. The goon doesn't have particularly useful life skills other than being a criminal. And so he's back out onto the streets in this rough life where he was before, and he's not making very much money. And so he can actually make more money by sitting in jail, just being quiet. He can be a professional prisoner in that regard. And obviously, given that that is true, Walt can successfully bribe these guys because Walt's making a ton of money. He has the money to be able to do this. And certainly not bribing these goons and actually forcing the goons' hands and making them rat out Walt is not good for Walt because that makes him stop making all this money and sends him to jail. And so that's why we see Walt is successfully able to bribe the goons and, and buy off them and maintain their silence. But perhaps more interesting, this week, Hank successfully inferred that there is still an operation going on based off of this. And I want to talk about how he did that. So you can imagine two different worlds. You have a world where the operation is still going on, where Walt is still making a lot of money, and so Walt can successfully bribe these guys. And you have a world where there isn't an operation going on still. So Walt is still out there, but he's not making any money. He doesn't have the drug dealing still going on. So he's unable to bribe these goons. Let's think about what happens in these two different worlds. Well, in this world, as we saw before, Walt will successfully bribe off the goons and buy their silence. And so at the end of this game, where there is a Walt bribing, he's still in operation, is that the goon remains silent. So we see this outcome here. And if you're in, you're in Hank's shoes, you can't see this bribe going on here, but you can see what the goons do. You can see that the goon hasn't said anything, that he's remained silent. So you can observe that outcome as Hank. Well, what about over here? Hank, again, doesn't really know what's going on. He doesn't know whether Walt is still in business or not, but he does see what the goon does. The goon in this situation will rat out the higher-ups because the higher-ups aren't paying him off. The higher-ups aren't getting any money. They don't have an operation running, and so they can't pay off the goon, and so the goon rats out. And so if you're Hank, you see two different things here. When Walt is still in operation, you see goons remaining silent. When Walt is not in operation, you see the goons ratting out the higher-ups. And so Hank successfully makes this inference that the business is still going on 
precisely because the goons are remaining silent. I thought that was a pretty neat thing, and I think there's a lot of this sort of stuff written into the series. If you're really careful and you're thinking about these things strategically, you can see that the inferences the characters are making and the strategies the characters are executing actually make a lot of sense given the context of their situation. So I encourage you as you're watching the remainder of the series to be on the lookout for this sort of strategic behavior. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I will see you next time. Take care.